Christina Lee here from our Upper Deck location at the PlayStation Exhibit booth at the end of a very busy day one. In fact, we've got so much to show you from this invigorated E3 that we decided to go ahead and break up our coverage into two parts. Now today in part one, we go ahead and cover the opening events, big announcements from Sony Computer Entertainment, as well as a quick look at some of the big titles that are actually playable. And then tomorrow in part two, we go ahead and dive right into some other big titles that everyone wants to know about. But yesterday, the major event was the annual Sony Press Conference held at the Shrine Auditorium, where President and CEO of Sony Computer Entertainment of America, Jack Trenton, took the stage. My heartbeat is redlining at about 230 beats per minute right now. Uh, I can't tell you the, the pressure that I feel. is trying to do justice to the 364 games we have coming out on PlayStation platforms this year. A year ago, I stood on this stage and said that our goal in fiscal 2009 was to sell 10 million new PS3s. And that's precisely what we did. It was a record year of growth and momentum for us, and it's just the beginning of what we expect in 2009. I know you're aware some of the industry's biggest titles are coming to PS3. The comprehensive press conference included impressive announcements about new games. Today, we'd like to announce a new property coming from Rockstar North. It's called Agent, and it will be exclusive to PlayStation 3. The next great title in Play, Create, Share genre. We call it Mod Nation Racers. Here's a new glimpse at Wade-san's next masterpiece, the third title in the trilogy, known as The Last Guardian. There were also important guest appearances, from the father of Gran Turismo, Kazunori Yamauchi, who introduced GT for the PSP. Hideo Kojima unveiled Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, also for the PSP. There was also an impressive motion control demo. And one final surprise. And I'm proud to introduce and show the first footage anywhere of Final Fantasy XIV. And PlayStation 3 will be the only console you'll be able to play Final Fantasy XIV on when it launches in 2010. It was a jam-packed and exciting presentation about what's to come this fall as well as next year. We then had a chance to catch up with Jack Trenton moments after the big show. Hey Jack, thanks so much for taking some time out with us. My pleasure, Christina. Great to see you again. Good to see you, too. Now, that was a really impressive presentation. You went through a lot of stuff. But will you tell us about what was your favorite part of the presentation? Well, usually the end is my favorite part because it's so stressful. And as I said at the beginning of the presentation, it's not only getting up in front of a large group and a TV audience that you know so well. It's trying to do justice to 364 great games coming out on our platforms this year. So I felt like a kid on Christmas morning. Oh, that was my favorite part. That was my favorite part. It all seemed to be so well received that uh, we just felt we hit a home run. So you feel pretty happy with the crowd response? No question about it. And it really does fuel you. These people are very, very passionate about gaming and we feed off their enthusiasm. And Jack, of those titles, could you even possibly pick a favorite? What are you looking forward to? Well, as you know, Christina, I work in the candy store, so I get my hands on everything, and I get my hands on it early. But right now, Uncharted 2 Among Thieves is the game that's really got my attention. I just feel like I'm in a movie. It's a cinematic experience. Everything is interactive, and I just can't put it down. Thank you so much, Jack. Pleasure. He's so cool. Well, you can catch the entire keynote address online at PlayStation.com, as well as from the PlayStation Store under the special E3 section. Now, the big deal about this E3 is the fact that there are so many big titles that are actual playable demos. And right here at the center of the PlayStation exhibit booth, we've got two of the most anticipated games right here. We've got Mag and Uncharted 2 Among Thieves with multiplayer live demonstrations with people just lining up by the droves to play. At last year's E3, MAG was unveiled as the most ambitious console multiplayer game ever. 256 players in eight-man squads battling as private military corporations in the story of Shadow War. And this year on the exhibit floor, players got a taste of this massive action game. All right, Danny, first time hands on MAG. What are we thinking? Uh, it was really impressive. Uh, I mean, the scope of the battlefield was just, like, immense. Uh, and uh, there's different loadouts to pick and, like, different... Uh, you know, squad to team up with, so it was, yeah, really complex, but really fun. <laughs> Mac definitely had a lot of new stuff that I haven't seen too much. It looked really great, really stood out. I might get a PS3 just for Mag alone, just for this game, it's that good. Alongside the Mag squads are the Uncharted 2 Among Thieves multiplayer demonstration. In addition to a new single-player story about Nathan Drake, the multiplayer features competitive and co-op modes where fortune favors the bold. Alright, so do you want to tell me how freaking unbelievable Uncharted 2 is? Uncharted 2 is unbelievable. It's like amazing. It's uh, it's uh, booms and wahs and ah. So it was great. It's amazing. 
It's probably the best game that is here. Probably my favorite thing playing Uncharted was how polished it is. You know, I mean, the, the first one was really good, but this one seems like the developers took a lot of time and just added that extra to it. Now, treasure seekers would love to get their hands on one of these coveted little objects. Let me introduce you to the newest member of the PlayStation family. Actually, it was president of Sony's Networked Products and Services Group and the president of CEO of Sony Computer Entertainment, Kaz Harai, who made the formal introduction. So it's my pleasure today to officially introduce the next step in the evolution of the PlayStation Portable. We call it PSP Go. PSP Go is actually more than 50% smaller and 40% lighter than the original PSP 1000. The PSP Go is designed for the digital lifestyle, offering 16 gigabytes of internal flash memory to store plenty of games, videos, music, and of course your photos. And you'll be able to download games and movies and other content from the free PlayStation Network using the PSP Go's built-in Wi-Fi. And as you can see, the PSP Go also has a slide-out feature for the controls, integrated Bluetooth technology, and 2009 will see more big franchise titles released on PSP than any other time in the history of the PSP platform. How cool is this? As for the new games coming soon, playable on the current PSP and the new PSP Go, here's a look at some of our favorites. Play, Create, Share makes its way to the PSP with a completely new Sackboy adventure in the critically acclaimed experience of Little Big Planet coming to the PSP. The only instrument you'll need is your PSP as the smash hit rock band is unplugged. Now, everywhere just rocks harder. One of the industry's most popular and addictive tower defense games comes to the PSP with the newest addition to the Pixel Junk series, Pixel Junk Monsters Deluxe. With new enemies, towers, music tracks, and special bonus features, players will love the new release. Break off a weapon and rage off the page in the old school sites rolling brawler with a new school physics system, Unbound Saga. And finally, the most ultra-realistic racing experience ever on a handheld is the highly anticipated debut of Gran Turismo exclusively for the PSP. GT PSP is expected to hit the streets on October 1st. Also announced for your PSP is the ability to access and download TV shows and movies directly to your PSP. And right now, and I mean as of today, you can actually browse the video side of the PlayStation Store from your PSP, where you can find 16 new TV networks and film partners. With your favorite movies and TV shows downloadable in Full HD and now directly to your PSP, the service just got better with 16 new film and TV partners. More movies and TV shows. More anime. More sports. If you want more entertainment, then see all that is new in the PlayStation Store. And right now, there's a special featured collection inspired by video games, including movies like Final Fantasy and both Tomb Raider titles available in the PlayStation Store. Meanwhile, check out some of the upcoming games that can also make it onto the big screen. Next comes the highly anticipated North American release of the first true role-playing game on the PlayStation 3, White Knight Chronicles. In an epic fantasy tale about two kingdoms in the midst of a long-standing war, players control one of six characters, including the giant White Knight. With visually stunning backdrops, a unique battle system, and robust online gameplay, this game is a true epic adventure. The hunt is on for the origami killer in the gripping psychological crime thriller with innumerable twists, heavy rain for the PlayStation 3. As the killer leaves folded paper shapes on his victims, four characters take part in a desperate attempt to stop him. Concluding the event set in motion by Tools of Destruction, the follow-up to the best-selling series comes to the PlayStation 3 in Ratchet & Clank Future A Crack in Time. After discovering Clay's disappearance was engineered by Dr. Nefarious, Ratchet races to rescue his best friend. Along the way, they also discover the hidden truths behind their origins and their ultimate destinies. I know what you're thinking. What about God of War 3? Well, we're going to get to that in part two of our coverage tomorrow, as well as a look at some of the other big titles that we're all buzzing about. 
Well, thanks so much for joining us for this special E3 edition of Pulse presented by the PlayStation Network. I'm Christina Lee, and I'll look for you right back here for part two tomorrow. This has been a presentation of the PlayStation Network.